chapter 14 energy metal deflection calculation with, with energy metal let's attempt this problem so we do have in this configuration we do have a steel rod bc at the center which has a 24 millimeter diameter and and for a steel rod of ab ab ed dc and and ac and they are all identical with the diameter of of 12 millimeters so at the center there is a solid uh, rod with with the diameter of 24 millimeters of of a steel uh, with the modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal and at the surrounding there are four other steel rods with the smaller diameter almost half of diameter it's exactly half half diameter of that and that's 12 millimeter in diameters we want to know if we apply a 12 kilonewton downward force at, at p and d what is the vertical deflection at, at point d so we want to know what is the maximum deflection at joint d to a 12 kilonewton which applied at So from energy method, we do remember that that uh, strain energy for discrete part is summation of of uh, internal force of the member squared times length of that member. For example, if you consider this one, over two area of that member times times the modulus of elasticity, which remains the same because all all the material are made of of steel. And that's a thirty six ST. So from energy method, strain energy method it says a half of P times delta area under strain energy is uh, sigma epsilon is is equal to external work, which is in our case is a sum a summation of of a discrete part and that's fi squared times li over 2 area times a modulus of elasticity we are looking after delta at the point of p of 2 of kilonewtons so we can cancel out these two with the other part of the equation and, and if we just call this angle alpha and alpha is the inverse tangent of rise over run rise over run 36 over 48 or 360 over 48 148 480 and it just gives us an alpha equal to 36.87 if that's alpha this is alpha 2 and let's write down write down sigma fy goes 0 for point d point of interest so in that case due to symmetry we can easily say all the forces of, of members are identical to each other due to the symmetry of the structure so fbd fdc fba and fac are, are equal to each other so summation of forces in y direction for point d just give us two two, two times force bd sine of alpha should cancel out the total 12 kilonewton downward force so it just gives us fbd is equal to fdc equal to fab equal to fac and all four forces for smaller diameter rods are equal to 10 kilonewtons and if this time goes for a summation of force in x direction this time for joint b it just gives us a two of, two of fbd this time which we already know this is 10 kilonewtons from previous calculation should cancel out the uh, force of of the chubbier rod at the center so fdc so two force of two ice of a uh, force bd Plus this time cosine of alpha should equal to fbc and in that case fbc is 2 times 10 cosine of the 
alpha and it just gives us FBC here. FBC is equal to 16. So far for our equation, we just know what is our forces in terms of strain energy for all the members. So these are 10 kN and the middle section is 16 kN. Next stage, we will calculate the length and area for all our members. So length of BD, length of BD. So that's BD. This is B. That's a two eyes of the. It's also symmetry. That's three hundred sixty millimeters. This is four hundred eighty millimeters. So that's point forty eight meters a square plus point thirty six meters a square, and it just gives us point six meters mm -hmm, or six hundred millimeters. And the area for because we do know the diameter is equal to 12 millimeters based off of problem statement and uh, based off based on that a, a calculation of area for the same rod is a quarter of pi times the d squared so if you replace the numeric value of that 12 times 10 to negative 3 s squared which is 12 millimeters squared it just gives us a b d this amount of 1.1 almost 10 to negative 4 meters squared Likewise, if we do the same LB to LBC, so if this half of the halfway through is 0 0.48 or 480 millimeters, so two eyes of that is 0.96 meters, and the diameter of, of the middle solid section is 24 millimeters. So area of BC, area of BC is a, a quarter of uh, the BC square, which is 20, if you place 24 this time, it just gives you area of BC is 4.5, almost 10 to negative 4 meter square, and also length of BC is calculated. So, base of our equation, which is Fi squared Li over 2 Ai Bi. So, that's the best. So, we already know what is the force, what is the length for each member, and what is the cross sectional area. And E is provided for 836 steel, what is is 200 and gigapascal. So we already know every uh, information for solving our problem. Let's let's replace them in the strain energy calculation to, to calculate the strain energy. So if you replace our all, so this is one rod one or two rod four. These four are identical to each other, and if you call this rod five, that goes different uh, differently in the, in the other part because that's a different cross-sectional area, and, and that. so it just says one over e. The simplified version of the equation, we just it was one half of p times delta d is equal to one over two e. We just cancel the. Uh, Simplify the equation and it just gives us p times delta d, which is the distance, and, and p is 12 kn is equal to 1 over modulus of elasticity times open bracket 4 fbd because the rods are identical to each other 4 fbd or a ac or facd each of them squared times length of bd over area bd plus FBC, the chubbier section at the middle, FBC squared times length of BC over area, which we already calculate all of them. So, and this is placing the P by 12 given. So if you place the numeric value, it just says 12 times delta D, 12 times delta D is equal to 1 over E, which is 200, giga is 10 to 9, and Pascal is nothing but Newton over meter squared. If you place all the uh, four members of, of uh, that's F squared, for example, F B C squared, B D squared times the length of B D, which is 0 0.6 meter over over area plus 16 which is fbc is 16 kilometers. if you 
if you do the mass replace it in the formula it just gives you a delta d 1.111 millimeters so that's how we can solve our problem in strain energy in terms of the friction we'll solve more problems in the next videos thank you